All righty. <laughs> um, we have Grace Peacock, the Director of Communications at Canada's Wonderland, um, with us today, answering a few of questions that you guys have submitted um, and a few questions that we have come up with as well for the 2021 season. So, Grace, I don't know if you want to introduce yourself for any of our viewers who don't happen to know you on Twitter. Sure, yeah. As, as Brendan said, I'm the Director of Communications here at the park. I've been with the park for, I guess it'll be four years this fall, and I'm having tons of fun. Um, I really love the park. It's not just a job. Um, I've, I've been coming to the park since I was a kid. Came here all through my teen years, practically lived here every summer, and you know now I'm a parent and bring my kids back. So, um, I think just as with many guests, it's been a part of my life and I'm always happy to talk about it and so excited that we've got our big news this week that we're going to be opening up in July. Yay. <laughs> Feels like we've been waiting forever. <laughs> I know it has been. <laughs> um, okay. I guess we'll ask a, a personal question for you. Um, sure. what have you missed most about Canada's Wonderland during these difficult times? Oh, well, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, just the other day, I posted a video of wild beasts running. Um, they were cycling it and it's it's literally right outside my office. And as much as I miss the rides and, um, you know, the parts of my job that involve an, an operating park, um, it's it's sort of like, um, I don't know, it feels like a source of life, like just the sounds and the smells, you know, like walking through the park and selling funnel cake and suntan lotion. And I don't know, I think... It's like that sensory experience that triggers all your fondest memories of a place, you know? So, um, like I said, it's the park's a part of people's lives, you know, over, you know, decades, you know, if you've been coming here since, as, since you were a kid. And I think it's, it's that the way that the park brings those memories to life in you and you just feel this sense of joy and you might not be able to put your finger on it um, in the moment, but I think that's what it is. I think that's in, in thinking about how this is our 40th, um, anniversary. The park's been around for 40 years. It's not our 40th season, but you know what I mean? Um, it's, uh, I think the reason people find, you know, think of the place so fondly is because of those, um, their best memories that are here that live with them and, um, not having the park open, you know, just sitting still and quiet. You haven't had that. So hearing it come back to life is just super exciting. Very much so. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, I'll, we'll get into a really common question we're seeing on uh, socials is what is Canada's Wonderland's capacity in stage two for reservations? Yes. Yeah, so we're saying in a lot of places that we're opening with limited capacity and it's not the same park experience, obviously, um, due to um, provincial restrictions and, <clears throat> you know, safety is our first priority. We want to make sure everybody's got lots of space to move around. Um, I will say that we are opening, opening at less than 25%. Um, I can't give you an attendance number, um, but if you can imagine, you know, normal day uh, for the park, pre-COVID, um, we're going to be missing 75% of that population in the park. Wow. Uh, and, and we figure, you know, with the reservation system in place, that's going to help us um, certainly manage uh, the, the park capacity, but also the flow of um, guests through the gate. Awesome. Um, will there be any entertainment for the 2021 season and what sort of entertainment can we expect if there is any? Sure. Um, as you can imagine, uh, um, lar large scale events are difficult right now, um, just due to the restrictions that are still in place, um, in the province. Uh, but we do have some live entertainment. Um, our classics are coming back. The Victoria Falls divers, we're going to have our flying front necks. Um, our various um, peanut shows with Snoopy and, the, and uh, Charlie Brown and the gang, including, you know, the Symphony of Water and um, our dance parties. Um, one of the shows is actually being moved to the new gazebo area um, out front of uh, Beagle Brigade Airfield, our new kids attraction. Um, so it's got a new home there. And um, I, we just put up on the website today that Wolf Jocks is coming back. And they're going to be performing daily until Labor Day. So if you guys miss the little doggies, um, they're going to be coming back to do their tricks. That's awesome. That's actually a lot more than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just have to keep in mind that physical distancing and we'll have signage and markers in place to remind people about that. For sure. Um, a big one. So will Halloween Haunt and Winterfest be occurring in 2021? And are there any known changes to their operations with COVID restrictions? 
So I, I will say at this point that we are planning for it, um, but we do not have a confirmed calendar um, available yet and, and details as to operations are, are still yet to be finalized. So you can expect to hear more about that later this summer. Awesome. Look forward to it. Um, will the park still have special events like the food festivals you normally host? Right. So those are sort of the, the more large scales events that I mentioned before. And yeah, just to just due to the restrictions currently in the province, we're not going to be able to have that for the summer season. For sure. All right. Um, what sort of things can we expect for the 40th anniversary celebrations, if there are going to be any um, and anything you can get specific on at this time? Well, when you visit, you guys should be able to see some special decor. Um, we're also going to have an exciting 40th anniversary menu with some signature food and beverage items, desserts. Um, I will hint that a favorite blast from the past is going to be returning to the park in terms of desserts. I'm not going to say exactly what it is, but you guys might be able to figure it out. Um, and what else? We are opening up a special anniversary store as well. You guys will know um, all the rage and we're converting that into an awesome anniversary place um, with some historic information in there, um, but also retro merchandise and, you know, um, souvenirs themed to the past four years. Awesome. Wow. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's been the biggest challenge getting Wonderland ready for operations under the current climate? Well, as you can imagine, we're, we're a large operation and uh, we need a pretty big runway to get up and running. Um, so I think it's, it's been timelines and just, um, you know, but this, over this past year, the lack of certainty, um, you, we don't have a crystal ball that tells us, you know, in a few months, it's going to be okay to open, you know, we've, we've had to wait for permissions. Um, and I think, um, that's that's really been it because we just do need uh, there's a lot to happen um and i have to give kudos to our staff right now who are across all departments working at full tilt um to get this place ready and it will be ready um but they're they're working some miracles as they always do i think it's the wonderland way um i think i'm going to like coin that phrase it's the wonderland <laughs> way because um yeah what what the work that happens um not just with you know, getting rides up and running and maintenance and landscaping, but also with, you know, HR work. Um, it's nothing short of a miracle sometimes because we do have a shortened timeline, um, but we're going to get it done. Yeah. It's been crazy to watch. It's like a beehive in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> um, what new attractions and food are there for the 2021 season? Okay. Right. So our two new attractions, um, First water park one, Mountain Bay Cliffs. You guys have heard about this one. This is our cliff jumping experience. If you've ever done cliff jumping in cottage country, we're bringing it to Wonderland. So guests are gonna be able to jump from three different heights into water and the highest height being 25 feet. I haven't done it yet myself, but I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and then the second uh, new attraction is Beagle Brigade Airfield. That's the kids ride in Planet Snoopy. It's a, uh, I think there's six or eight little um, two-seater airplanes that kids get to ride in a oval circuit. Uh, it's kind of like Peanuts 300, if you guys know the little car one. It's got that same sort of whip around action that the kids love. And then in terms of new food, so we've got uh, a new menu at um, Mess Hall this year, and it's a whole variety of specialty poutines. Um, including my favorite, which is a returning item, the buttered chicken poutine. I just like, <laughs> I could eat that every day. Um, but also butter chicken, sweet potato, a hogtown poutine, which I'm actually not sure what that includes, but that's the name of it. Um, a pierogi poutine, a cheeseburger poutine. Um, we'll also have a new signature, uh, beer and cider. So I think with all of our signature beers, we now have, we could have like establish a six pack really a wonderland <laughs> beers um what else middle uh back lot is going to be premiering um a middle eastern menu this year in addition to the other international uh foods we already have there and we are bringing in we're going to have our own impossible burger i don't entirely know what that means but if you google it you'll find out um i was told I could mention that by our food director. So we'll have our own impossible burger. Wow. That's actually a and, lot. Uh, yeah. That's a lot. 
going on for that's super short, exciting short summer season yeah um all right a really important one that i think a lot of people are anxious about for tomorrow is how will the reservation system work especially with splashworks and the dry park Okay, so as you've both heard, we you'll need reservations for both. Um, and what's going to happen is um, pass holders are going to have uh, two options for reservation. You'll either be reserving a visit just for the dry park or dry park plus water park. And um, that will get you access to both. And um, upon visiting, if you're visiting the water park, you'll get a wristband um, at front gate and then that will get you access into the water park when you're ready to go in. Um, and I think the details are on our website. I think you, you, Seasons Pass holders can book two visits at a time and include up to 14 guests on your reservation. And you just need everybody's Seasons Pass number um, or if it's um, a mix of Seasons Pass visitors and daily ticket holders, just the barcode on the daily ticket. Perfect, that last one was a question that we were getting today, so that's perfect. Um, all right. I guess last question, because we don't want to keep you too long. You're super busy. Um, is will any of these new COVID implementations be permanent, such as the cashless or other systems that you're maybe bringing in? I don't know that there's been much discussion about permanence. I think we're just trying to get through this. <laughs> um, but um, I know a lot of businesses are looking at um, contactless payments um, for longer term. Um, cause you can obviously see the benefit of that. I personally can't recall the last time I ever had cash on me. So it seems to be the way of the future. I think if anything is, um, has potential for, for being more long-term, it might be that. Perfect. Awesome. Well, first off, thank you so much for everything that you do. Uh, if you're not already following Grace on Twitter, her social is Grace Peacock on Twitter. I'm going to link it down below. Um, if you're going to get any accurate information, it's going to be there. So uh, thank you so much for everything you do. You're super active, even when the park's been closed over the last like year and a half. So it means a lot to everyone. Well, thanks everybody. And, um, you know, thanks for your patience and, and everyone's support over the, you know, the past year and a half, because it's been rough um, for everyone. And, but there's light at the end of the tunnel and uh, <laughs> we're going to get through this. And one day everything will be back to normal and uh, we'll have our park. Well, we're going to have our park very soon. And I think that's going to just mean all the difference. So thanks very much. Awesome. Thank you.